All right, there you go. Hey, hello. All right, we're rolling in. I'm beating sarcastic. 20 seconds. All right. <clears throat> All right, we're rolling in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Good morning, this is Fiori Carey from Clover Radio, on air from the Double Tree Hotel in Ontario, California, here with my co-host, Ricky Lee. How are you, Ricky? I'm well, thank you. Our discussion today involves how the Skills USA California State Competition is calling the next generation into action and preparing them for lifelong success. For the 52 years, the Skills USA competition has been bringing prestigious students together to compete and showcase their expertise. Ricky and I went out to the Ontario Convention Center to hear from other Skills USA competitors about their thoughts on the competition and how the tournament calls these young professionals into action. But first, a message from our sponsor. This public service announcement is made possible by the California Department of Education. Education is an essential factor to become successful in any industry. According to several recent studies, a degree isn't going to be enough for one to achieve success. The future generations need a variety of skills to set themselves apart in a competitive world. Many careers require a high school diploma and or an undergraduate degree, but most modern day jobs require specialized skills. With this, the California Department of Education spotlights key programs like Model UN, robotics, culinary, debate, and more to unlock the necessary skills to prosper in a competitive world. Now, back to the program. So Ricky, I was surprised from what we heard from all the participants. Yeah, Fiori. A lot of students gave great answers as to their thoughts on Skills USA calling pros into action. Now, let's hear from Taylor Morrison and Isaiah Bronson, two sophomore participants for Chapter Display here at Skills USA State Competition. I never really thought, not that I would go anywhere, but I wasn't so sure on what I was able to do. And it's introduced to me all these skills I can use as time, like time management, and it's also taught me responsibility, so that will help me with my future career. Actually, from joining Skills, I've learned my love for photography. I've always thought it was so difficult, and now I'm actually want, I want to major in, in college for my career. So it's really changed my whole impact on my life. After skills, probably go to college for computer science, computer engineering. Um, for our chapter display, I made the video, so I'm the tech guy, you know. Usually a video that I made right now that this of this length would take me probably three, four times longer, but since I knew I had this goal and I had like teammates to, to make proud, then I got it done and it looks great. Taylor shared her thoughts on how competing in the competition has called her into action and gave her a purpose. She's even going to college and mastering her photography skills, so it is great to hear that she's found her career and her calling. Fiori, any thoughts? I agree. Competing in Skills USA and getting to participate in such a great competition has called her into a professional field. You're right. And here's another wonderful example from Isaiah of forcing yourself into a new environment. By growing out of your shell, you're able to become a better person. It is outstanding how much Skills USA has influence on the participants. And now let's shift gears and listen to a professional and how he thinks Skills USA can benefit future professionals. My name is Ricardo Canova and I am a staff services analyst. Skills, well it's really improved me as a person because it's really given me kind of an opportunity to give back to the community and through pretty much through the work that I do at the state. So what we do is we are the people who bring businesses and education providers together to work together to actually create apprenticeship programs, whether that be traditional or non-traditional. And that gives the opportunity to job seekers to actually become apprentices through, you know, great places like this with Skills USA, where, you know, you're learning whether it be, you know, IT, welding, whatever trade that you got going on, like droning. And then you're able to take that knowledge and take it into an apprenticeship which will then, you know, obviously boost somebody's career immensely. Interesting to hear the different perspectives. Ricardo, for example, takes real pride in supporting these events, and Taylor, on the other hand, discovered her college career path. Yes, these are good examples of the journey and the people's life that found a target to aim for. Fiori, how many competitions provide leadership training, both to students and instructors, especially in the career and technical education? 
Good point, Ricky. If you take a look at an organization like Skills USA, it's a partnership working together to ensure America has a skilled workforce. Yes, it is mind blowing how much human effort is devoted to make every single student excel at what they do. It is a privilege to be a part of this life affirming event. Absolutely, it changes our lives. Well, that brings this report to a close. Thank you so much for listening to Clover Radio with Fiori Carey and Ricky Lee and our stay here in Ontario, California for Skills USA's 52nd annual state competition. Let's just say, nope, I'm talking. All right. Good job.